Nick teaming is a feature that allows the joining of network interfaces. It's only supported on Windows Server, but still possible in Windows 10. I'll begin with stating this is how I perform network teaming in Windows. It may not necessarily be the most efficient way. To begin, we will open up PowerShell as a administrator. Now, the command we need to run first is ncpa. This will open up our network connections and give us all of our network adapters. In this case, I've got two gigabit Ethernet adapters. One of them isn't plugged in, doesn't matter. If you need to configure any hardware, let's say if it's cables or switches or anything now, do that now before we begin. Now, the command we'll be running is new net load balancing failover team. Now, the syntax we need for this command is the name, which is what the name will appear in here, teaming members, and you select whatever team members you want to use from here and teaming mode. You can use static, switch independent, or LACP. We'll be using LACP for this, well I will, um, and the load balancing algorithm will leave that blank as it will automatically select dynamic, which is what we want. And the rest of it we don't need to worry about. So, we'll create a new net load balancing failover team. We will name it LAN power, you can use whatever you want. The team members will be Ethernet, and Ethernet 2. You can use whatever teaming members you want to use from here. Um, now our teaming mode is LACP. Now once we run this command, it will ta-da, create our new network interface. It's very simple to do in Windows, as you can see. But the question is, how do you remove it? Because you can disable it, but you can't delete it. Now, you use the remove net load balancing failover team command and use the name you used and ta-da, it is removed. That is how you do network teaming in Windows. If this video helped you, drop a like and hit subscribe. Until next time.